Okay, this is the next set of things I collect for cabin crafts and collectibles. This is a set of Orlocks. Usually you just see the Orlocks themselves. These actually have the uh, supports uh, that were made for them. <coughs> They, uh, usually there's a, a hole drilled in the gunwales and they put a little metal sleeve in it and you stick your oarlock in that to keep it from wearing the wood out. But these were actually made uh, to be screwed onto the side of the gunwales and uh, support them. Found that it is a flea market and I saw them right away. I knew they had to go on the wall. There's a piece of cherry to mount them on. This is a uh, starfish, brass starfish. Got it on eBay, I'm pretty sure. And a uh, piece of walnut to mount it on. I screwed, drilled holes in the back and and uh, made, then threaded the holes. <clears throat> this is a nice piece here. I had wanted a fish to mount on an oval piece of wood and uh, <clears throat> I went out and looked at uh, taxidermist done fish at flea markets and they're all old, brittle, broken up, bleached out and I didn't want to hang out in the wall. Getting a new one done is very expensive. So I was driving home from work one morning and uh, <clears throat> there was a little flea market alongside the highway so I zoomed in, looked it over and there they had an aluminum trout. It was probably from a bar, uh, maybe some kind of a sales display, I'm not sure, but I said that's it and uh, it never turns bleached out, it, it just stays the same, the fins don't fall off. I drilled holes in the back and mounted on a piece of walnut. Cutting a piece of walnut in an oval takes some doing. You got to make several kinds of circles and then keep taking a French curve to smooth it out. That's what I did. Uh, this is a, a net I got. I think I got that at a car show. Nice piece. Um, and here... <coughs> Down here, you can see I have a uh, a, bill, a a plate from a boat, the Winter Company. I think they're from Alabama. I'm not sure about that. A lot of boat companies were bought by other companies over the years and don't exist, so it's hard to follow. But this was the Winter Seahawk, and I put that in a piece of walnut. Uh, this is a pretty basic lantern lamp. They're around. They're nice. I kind of liked it, so I I got that. <clears throat> this you see is a, a bluegill not on a piece of wood. Again, they used to take a piece of wood, saw it off on an angle so the bark would show different ways. And this is a, a little boat steering wheel from a cruiser. Picked up that was in a, in a box of junk in the bottom of a flea market underneath of a table. Uh, years and years ago, I grabbed that. And of course, you have to have the cross paddles. That's obligatory. And I got a couple of signal flags. You hook them all together to to uh, <coughs> signal other boats, you know, storms or other, other things. And this is an old ship's wheel light. They're, they're around. They're nice. And uh, some other odds and ends. This is a Pennsylvania state boundary line sign. Uh, 
warlocks, old uh, hunting uh, license you'd hang on your back, the uh, loops to uh, to catch a bunch of bass and you want to keep them alive for a while, you hook them on the chain on the hooks, and uh, <coughs> the antler, old lantern, make out, I got a uh, a Lund fishing boat license plate. And this is a sea breeze uh, thermos kettle, thermos jug, probably late 40s, I would say, basically. And this was a thermos that I got with uh, flies on it various kinds and this is a boat picture my wife did years ago very nice and the decoy you always have to have one of those and this is a fish my boy made he had to do a cub scout uh, project of wood carving and this is another sign from Pennsylvania, the hunting grounds, state commission, boundary line, flea market stuff, the stuff's around. This is an interesting one here. This was back in the 60s. Uh, Department of Forests uh, and Waters, Pennsylvania, 